Okay, so yesterday we wrote equations in a form a formula that we were used to, which was called slope intercept form. Today we are taking it up a notch and we are writing equations in what's called point slope form. So you might not have ever seen this formula before. So this might be new and that would be exciting. So, okay. First of all, before we get started, let's talk about slope again. You guys, we have to be good at slope in order to be able to write equations of lines. So the formula for slope, remember we always use a letter M, and you subtract the Y's on top and the X's on the bottom. So whenever I go to do this, sometimes it helps to label your ordered pairs X1, Y1, X2, and Y2. And what you need to remember is the change in y is what always goes on the top. So you're going to subtract the y's on the top. So when I write these out, I'm going to have negative 2 minus negative 4. Now don't freak out about that minus negative. And then in the denominator is the change in x. So I'm going to put these x's in the denominator. So it's really important since I started with this negative 2 that I start with the 3. You have to start with the same one. 3 minus negative 1. Now a minus a negative is going to turn that into a positive. Negative 2 plus 4 is 2. And 3 minus negative 1 is going to make that a positive, so it's 2 fourths. But you would always want to simplify that so you get that your slope is 1 half. Okay, so be really careful with the minus and the negatives, and there's nothing wrong with using your calculator. Now, here is what we're talking about today, point-slope form. So I'm not sure, I don't know that you've ever seen this formula. It is y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So you guys, this might look a little weird because you're like, what, are, what is that x1 and that y1 where we're going to the x when I for the y when I said the x. What are those? That's an ordered pair. Okay. So m, just like before, just like every other single time, is gonna be the slope, right? And you're like, okay, that's pretty straightforward. And now here's what's gonna be different. You've got x1, y1, which is some point that you're given. So you'll be given a point. So remember, x comes first in ordered pairs, and y's come second. But, just to call your attention to this, when you look at the formula, the y comes first, and then the x. So basically, to write equations of lines in point-slope form, you need an m, you need an x1, and you need a y1. And then we're just gonna put it all together. Now, at the end of that, we are going to convert it into slope-intercept form. Remember, what was slope-intercept form? y equals mx plus b. And yesterday we talked about how converting into slope-intercept form is a fancy way of saying just take that equation and solve it for y. Okay, so I'm going to write it in this way, and then I'm going to solve it for y. So let's practice this. So first one here, this is my x1 and my y1, and that is my m. So again, I'm just going to put those things into the spots. So here's the x1, and here is the y1. So I'm going to start by writing out the formula. y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1. Now remember, you guys, all you're doing is you're changing, you're plugging in the x1 and the y1, and you're plugging in the slope, right? So when I go to do this, it's y minus. Hey, what's the y1? It is 1. Be careful that you take the, the, num the number in the y spot. Is equal to, what's the m? Negative 3 x minus what's in the x spot, 5. Okay, now let's just have a little happy dance and celebrate for a minute because we just wrote the equation of the line in point slope form. Now, all I have to do is take this and solve it for y. So when, when I'm solving this for y, I'm going to take this negative 3 and distribute it to everything on the inside. y minus 1 is negative 3x plus 15, right? Now, I'm trying to get y alone, so I'm just going to add 1 to both sides. And my equation of the line 
in slope intercept form is y equals negative 3x plus 16. So I started out with this kind of peculiar weird formula, but all I had to do was plug in the x1 and the y1 and the slope. And then I had it in point slope form, but I want to put it into slope intercept form, so I had to solve for y. Okay, the first time we do something is always a little bit tricky. Let's try it the next time and see if it makes a little bit more sense. So again, the first ordered pair is x and then y, so it goes x1, y1, and this is your slope. So again, we're using the formula y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. Now you guys, I'm plugging in m and I'm plugging in x1. You're like, why aren't you plugging in the x? That's just the way the formula works. This is the x that's part of the formula. This is the x1 that I'm actually referring to a specific number for that. And then I'm going to plug in the y1. Okay. And so all I'm doing is plugging that stuff in. So it is y minus, what's in the y spot? Negative 2 is equal to 5x minus negative 3. Now, if I'm writing this in point slope form, you guys, do I write minus negative? What does minus negative mean? It means plus. So I've got y plus 2 is equal to 5 times x plus 3. Now, I just would like to take a second to point out, whenever you have a negative for your x1 or your y1, it's going to become plus because it's always the opposite sign. Here, they were positives, and I wrote it in the equation minus 1 and minus 5. Here, they're negative, and I write it in the equation plus and plus. So it's just the opposite sign. So now I can just celebrate for a minute. We have written the equation in point slope form. Now I have to solve it for y. So y plus 2 is 5x plus 15. I distributed that 5 to everything on the inside of the parentheses. And now I'm just moving this 2 over, and I have y equals 5x plus 13. So this is the equation in point slope form. This is the equation in slope intercept form. Okay, now let's try it again. So again, what are we doing here? So it's not really any different, except I didn't use the word slope. Now you see this is your m, that's your x1 and your y1. So let's go ahead and let's write this out. I start by writing the formula. y minus y1 is m times x minus x1. Then I'm going to label this is x1 and y1. And I label it just because I want to be really careful with it. I know m is the slope, so that's going to be what goes right there. I know x1 is the number that is in the x spot here, and I know y1 that I'm going to replace is the number that's in the y spot. So now I'm just plugging all this stuff in here. y minus 4 is negative 4 times x minus 1. Look, at, I just wrote the equation in point slope form. That's it. Now, if I'm asking you to take it and to solve it for y, because that's what slope intercept form is, is an equation solved for y. So distribute that negative 4 to everything in that grouping set. y minus 4 is negative 4x plus 4. And now, again, how do I get rid of that minus 4? I'm going to add 4 to both sides. So I have y equals negative 4x plus 8. When it is solved for y, and it says y equals, it's in slope intercept form. That's it. It's that simple. Okay, last example. This is not new. This is just another practice problem. y minus y1 is m times x minus x1. So I start by writing out the formula. Then I identify my x1 and my y1. Now I'm ready to plug the stuff in. So I'm just color coding it all so it's super clear. Again, remember the x1 comes second in the formula and the y1 comes first. But when you look at ordered pairs, x comes before y. So try not to have that get you confused at all. And now I'm ready to plug this in. y minus. Now it's y minus negative 8. By the way, you know that means plus 8 right? Because whenever there's a negative, it becomes the opposite sign. It's equal to negative one-half x 
x minus 6. So y plus 8 is negative 1 half x minus 6. So now I have to put this into slope-intercept form. So I'm going to start by distributing y plus 8 is negative 1 half x. Half of 6 is 3. Negative 1 half times negative 6 is a positive 3. Then I move that 8 over and I get my equation is negative y equals negative 1 half x minus 5. Now I've got that in slope intercept form. All right, you guys, I hope that you are ready to do some practice on your own of writing equations in point slope form.